Okay, it is 8.53 a.m. on Sunday, October the 22nd, and I just want to take the time to thank all 10,000 of you who have subscribed. I really appreciate it. It has been somewhat of a long growth, but I haven't been as active as a lot of people here on YouTube just because of the uh, demands of daily life and all that, filming, running a company, you know, uh, teaching skate lessons, which is how I make the bulk of my money these days. And so I just appreciate all of you guys. And uh, I'm happy that I've been able to bring some value to the lives of some of you guys. The comments that I get saying that some of you guys were struggling with certain aspects of your skating and that my videos have helped really what keeps me doing this and uh, so I appreciate each and every one of you that take time to watch these videos and I really am grateful to be able to share my experience and have it resonate with and provide value to this amount of people so today is gonna be something a little different uh, I'm supposed to go out and film. I'm actually waiting to hear from my buddy who's got the spot, some kind of hubba. And I really want to skate it because uh, I'm finishing up my video part for the collage skateboards video. Uh, I could be done now, to be honest. But the thing is, I have no, no handrails, no hubbas, no type of gaps in this part. So, uh, as it stands right now, it's basically all ledges, mostly big massive ledges which is what I enjoy skating the most these days but you want to mix it up in your video part so I am filming a sort of a day in the life I'm gonna film everything around uh, yeah going out to going out to film so uh, before I get into how I'm starting up the day I want to plug the patreon group okay a lot of people over are over there now and they're really engaging with the community. Um, we have monthly Q and A's. I have everyone ask their questions and then I make a video going through and answering each of them. Some of them, like a question from the October Q and A that was about my stretching routine, I'll make a separate video about that just for the patrons. And then the people who subscribe at the top tier, they also get a monthly video lesson or they can send in a series of their own videos and I can give them detailed critiques on those so if any of you is interested in that the patreon group is linked below and one more thing I want to plug is my song memories uh, this is a really special song for me um, the subject matter for one it's about looking back on your past and looking back at everything fondly and Second, my father plays saxophone on this track, so it's a song that I wrote and produced and mixed and mastered, and my father played saxophone on it, which is amazing to me, because uh, I've always looked up to my father musically. Him and my grandfather and my uncle, all jazz musicians, that's what I grew up around, so I'm happy to have my dad on a song. And the music video was made by my really good friend Jesse Carter Clavin. She came up with the idea, she went and got the equipment and created the story, she, fil she filmed it, she edited it, she did a really good job and that music video will be out November 10th and the actual song will be out on all the streaming services November 24th. So there's a pre-save link to the song and there's a link to the holding page for the video down in the description as well. Let's get into the day in the life first thing to do on a day like this is to get a good stretch going so coffee out of 
home now because I enjoy making it so much at home. Um, and yeah, I've, I've been into making coffee for a long time before I got this thing. But uh, I used to make first French presses and then pour overs and then I ended up going down the espresso rabbit hole and uh, can't go back. There's nothing like making yourself a latte in the morning and first thing to do is to weigh out the beans. I get these from Trade. This is not any type of sponsored video. I used to have a coffee sponsor, but uh, fake news got them shut down. Rest in peace to Augie's Coffee. They were amazing. But uh, this is Steady State. This is Daybreak Blend. So far, so good. Weighing out 18 grams because that's the amount that made the best cup. When we're looking back, are we gonna laugh or cry? I'm gonna enjoy every moment. Soon I let the whole world know it. Made mistakes, but I'm turning each one around. Learning from every second on the ground Each stumble is a jewel added to my crown Rising stakes are the reward for my hard work Prizes for hardships I never sure Never expecting to get any further shooting this with my phone at the moment letting it cool down a bit but yeah here's my latte phone overheated which uh, has happened to me a couple of times when I shot in 4k 422 10 bit raw uh, log so I'm not sure why? Because I heard that people were able to shoot in 4K60 on this camera until uh, the battery died. But I've been running into that issue as of late. Uh, hopefully there's like a firmware update or something. Because I really do love the Sony a6700. And uh, it really has added some production value to my videos even though the a7 III I was using before was already pretty good this is like leaps above that it's just as far as the picture quality and just being able to shoot and log and grade it and yeah it's awesome so I'm just enjoying my coffee for a minute and then uh, the wife and I are gonna walk our dog Bentley this guy here And then we'll uh, have some breakfast and then it'll be off to skate. <laughs> Taking out the trash, just regular stuff. Some of you guys probably watched my thief part and remember this spot. Crazy. I don't know if I would skate that today, but it definitely was cool to make it through that roller coaster my knee was like hurt for like a month I couldn't skate for like a month because I had to jump off and run into that wall down there <laughs> you don't like them either huh Bentley I hate those things <laughs> Picked up Lawrence McCullum. He's gonna be filming today. And we're gonna head to a spot. Get out of downtown and into Lincoln Heights. Got this little uh, spot with benches and uh, 
Yeah, about to get something. Lawrence here, ready to work. <laughs> to end my line on this bench right over here. That's the goal. Uh, gonna be a challenging one, but I've skated it before and it's not the worst. Cause I know what trick I wanna end on on the bench and it's like with my front truck. And I hate having lines where it's two tricks on the front truck. So I'm trying to figure out something on the back truck for the first bench. The problem with that is it's at a weird slope. And typically for me, like back truck tricks don't work that well on beveled things. So like back 5.0s, back smiths. And I already did a kickflip back tail on this for something else before, so. Trying to figure it out now. Gonna stretch and warm up. with the homie ghost yeah, yeah gotta yeah. gotta i got a line i didn't necessarily get the line that i wanted but lawrence what do you think what do you think it's solid solid all right they they say the it's dog the dog is chilling they say it's solid so Hell yeah i guess i'll take it um, yeah, here. getting a little getting a little full because there's a soccer game so we're gonna bounce before uh before it gets prohibitively packed which it kind of already is but you win some, you lose some. That's why veterans that have been doing this for a long time always film a safety line so that if you're not able to get the line or the trick you already you really want, you have something. Okay, so now I'm across the street from the Disney concert hall and we're gonna skate this rail. I uh, was landing on this front nose before. It's not a particularly difficult trick, but the spot just looks amazing. So try to get it just to have something beautiful some crazy architecture in it and uh yeah hopefully we don't get kicked out pretty good day but uh all done i'm back home now ended up falling a couple times at that second spot the rail had some support beams got my wheels caught in them twice fell back on my wrists to the bottom of a set of stairs. At least it wasn't a big set of stairs. It was like eight or nine stairs, something like that. So called it quits and now I'm back home and I'm gonna soak myself and get something to eat. But overall, a pretty productive day. Got a line. It wasn't the exact line that I wanted because the park started to fill up, but I got something good that I can use for my video part. And that's a win in my book, so thank you guys thank you guys for subscribing thank you guys for watching really appreciate you guys and if you want to see more stuff like this let me know and i'll make more kind of just day in the life stuff